If you like my video please click on the like button and for more videos please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Explain the following terms. Amorphous, crystalline, anisotropic, isotropic, crystallography. Solids are divided into two parts. Amorphous and crystallines. And crystalline solids are again divided into two parts. Anisotropic and isotropic. So let's discuss about the amorphous and crystalline solids. In amorphous solids, there is no proper arrangement of atoms, molecules or particles. They don't show a sharp melting or boiling point. In crystalline solids, there is definite geometrical arrangements of atoms, molecules or particles. They show a sharp melting or boiling point. Amorphous solids are considered as supercooled liquids. For example, glass, plastic, etc. Crystalline solids are the true solids, for example, common salt. Now let's talk about anisotropic and isotropic properties. Anisotropic properties are the properties of crystalline solids which are affected by the direction in the solids. These properties are common in crystal structures other than cubic. Isotropic properties Isotropic properties are the properties of the crystalline solids which are not affected by the directions of the solid. These properties are common in cubic crystal structures. For example, refractive index, transparency, etc. A study of geometry, property and structure of crystals and crystalline substances is known as crystallography.